Hey guys, it's me, Zombly, and I'm back with another episode of Strike Fighters 2 Mercenary Mode Blood Money. Yeah, it's been too long. It really has. Uh, the last time I plugged in my joystick and set up Joy to Key so I could use my hat switch like a mouse. Yeah, see that? Yeah, it makes looking around smoother. That's what Joy to Key is. Um, it's a free download. I would Google it because I don't remember exactly the website I got it. But anyways, the last time I fired up that program and plugged in my joystick was so I could play Elite Dangerous. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of Strike Fighters episodes because I'm a terrible person and I need to do more of those because you guys love this series and honestly I love playing the series. So anyways, let's go and continue our campaign. Um, the last mission I remember went abysmal for us. We took off and were immediately just attacked by MiGs just everywhere. It's like they bum rushed us, they sent everything. They're like, send all the planes. Right after I had said meh, they're not going to send all 35 MiGs. Yeah, they kind of almost did. Um, a lot of bombers involved, too. And technically, we failed the mission completely because I had to abandon it. Um, I never got a status on the mission, and I sat for another 30 minutes after I had run out of ammo and landed back at base, almost taking myself out with a bomb crater. By the way, that was brilliance on high. But, uh, yeah, so I, I never got a complete or fail one way or another, so I technically abandoned the mission, which is an automatic fail, but somehow it ca counted it as, like, we kept the uh, enemy back from that area, so we actually repulsed the enemy. We should see that on our campaign map, but let's move on to August 7th, 1968, at about 7.56 in the morning, so just about 8 a.m. We're still in D-8 airfield, which is amazing, near al Samir. Um, so let's see what's happening today for us. What is the mission that they want us to complete? Another combat air patrol over Al Samir. Destroy any enemy aircraft approaching your assigned area. Our call sign is Oyster. Ugh, oysters. You know, like I like clam chowder. That that's good. You know, because it's like the the meat's like cooked and stuff. But I think the real way you eat, or maybe clam and oyster are separate. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below. But uh, clam chowder is good. I I like seafood. You know, like crab and shrimp. Lobsters okay. Um, but for whatever, like oyster. Some people will eat them. It's like they just like take and drink them out of the shell. It, ugh! It, it about turns my stomach thinking about it. And it reminds me of that episode of Friends where, uh, for some reason or another. Uh, Joey and Chandler at like some fancy party thing. I think it was like a movie premiere for for Joey's like a, a movie he had been working on or something. And uh, at any rate, he uh, he ended up like I think Chandler tried a, an oyster or something, and he was like, "Oh my god!" and like spit it out on the floor. And then later on, Joey walks up and he's like, "Dude, did you see that giant loogie on the floor?" And it's like, "Ugh," because that's about the consistency. It's friggin' terrible. I, I, I mean, if you like oysters, I don't want to offend you. Everybody to each their own, you know, but I couldn't do it. But yeah, so looking at our map here, which is what I should be getting to, not talking about, like, shit from the 90s, um, you can see that somehow or another we pushed back the line. So we took back that airfield. Well, not quite. D7's still there. But their strength is real low now. 15 plus instead of the 35 plus they were. Um, so... That's good to know, and then at the same time, somebody pointed out to me, remember when I was confused when 2nd Lieutenant Crusher Taggart was coming in? Um, I, I didn't understand why he was no longer given a call sign, and I'm told that's because once a person in the game reaches ace level, um, they just show their name now. So it's like they've become infamous on the battlefield, and everybody knows their name. They're no longer like, you know, Pontiac 4 or whatever the uh, call sign is given. So... Our known aces for D8 airfield are Lieutenant Crusher Taggart, which is awesome. If we take a look at our roster, um, he hasn't died yet. I've killed uh, two mercenaries. I killed Rocky and Mickey Duncan, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, Crusher Taggart has seven air-to-air -air kills, and I'm just about there. If I could get one more without dying this mission, I will be one happy panda. Uh, but, unfortunately, we've lost two men, and uh, Stanky Wix is still wounded. Poor Stinky Wicks. I'm sorry. Not only do you have a terrible name, you've got a terrible battle wound now, and it's all my fault. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, yeah, okay, I went ahead and removed everybody, because I want to take, uh, for a combat air patrol this close, definitely taking Crusher as my wingman, um, which has never played out terribly for any of these other guys, right? I mean, KIA means they're known in assignment. Yeah, that's what it means. Um... <laughs> 
anyway, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to find the most experienced guys that I feel comfortable taking at the moment. Um, Crusher, for sure, is, well, he's, he's crushing it. He's just doing good. Uh, we'll take Chuck Tyler, and we'll take one more mercenary with us. I guess that'll be Irish Schlipper. <laughs> Irish Schlipper. Captain Schlipper. What a last name. That That's also, I don't know what's worse, Stinky Wicks or Schlipper. Anyways, um, for loadout, I'm definitely going with the tried and true. No, wait a minute. Aim 9Es, I think we're almost out of those poor things. Did we get a resupply, though? That would be great. I think it would notify us whenever we get a resupply. Our supersonic tanks are kind of low-ish, 257 of those, but I'm looking for Aim 9E. There it is. I've only got eight of those things left, and it's two per plane. That's eh, not good, but I really like them. They're, they're tried and true for a reason. We'll take 500 liter supersonic tanks, and that'll be it for me. Um, I would like the same setup very much so for uh, my wingman, Mr. Taggart here, who is just kicking ass as an ace already. Um, we've only got two AIM-90Es left. Man, this is terrible. If we run out of these, really, we're, we're stuck with the... Because uh, I don't even think we have the Matra missiles anymore, unless we got resupplied on those. There's Matra rockets but I don't see any Matra missiles whatsoever, so we'll have to rely on... Um... Oh, we have AIM-9Gs now, but I don't think we can mount those, no. So we'll have to rely on the B, which essentially is only good for taking out a bomber that's flying straight and level and does nothing. And even then, they'll, like, if a cow farts somewhere on the ground, it'll, like, heat-seek that fart and kill the cow instead of the plane thousands of feet above it. <laughs> they are the worst missiles I've ever seen. So unfortunately, Oyster 1-4, I don't like doing that to him, but he's got nothing. I'll give him uh, the, the bees, I suppose. So unfortunately, fourth in uh, the flight is going to have some shitty equipment. But can't really help it, not until we can get a resupply, and I hope that's soon. But anyways, let's go ahead and finally get to that combat air patrol with me yammering on in the menus for like half an hour. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on the runway. Alright, here we are. Looks good. So let's go ahead and fire up that uh, search mode radar and take the brakes off and light up those afterburners. Get this thing in the air. Immediately get on patrol. Because it's needed right now. The enemy's still on our doorstep. It is not looking good. And it's only a miracle that we managed to push them back from last time, too. That shouldn't have happened the way it did. I might have rotated a little too soon. Just kind of doing a big wheelie down the runway here. There we go. Let's get those gear up. Strangely enough, the, uh, the Mirage has no flaps. That bothered me for the first couple of times I tried flying it. I've always tried to uh, put the flaps up. And it occurred to me that uh, that wasn't necessary. So I was mashing my flaps key like... Come on, man. Alright, well, we got radar contact, so let's hit that next waypoint. It's going to be back behind us, it would seem. Which is good. Get my nose down before I stall out here. Increase my throttle. Boy, howdy. About stalled and crashed. Well, never mind on this turn. Let me uh, build up some airspeed. <laughs> Maybe I should learn how to fly. I'm uh, a little too used to Elite Dangerous lately. That's the only other thing I've been playing with uh, on my joystick controls, and uh, once you get into space, you don't really have to worry about stalling, per se. Um, actually, stopping becomes your major problem. Really, if you think about it. Okay, there goes a wingman. Zip that way. Alrighty. So anyways, we're gaining air. Uh, I've got ground contacts, I think, down there. Something's on the search radar. It's probably my wingman. So anyway finally kick off those afterburners. I don't want to burn up all my fuel just yet. But yeah, so now it's just flights uh, going to be joining formation, and we're going to be flying towards our waypoints, so not much to see. I will come back when there's some sort of action about to happen. Till then, see you guys. Okay, 10 plus bandits right to 2 o'clock. That's not a good sign, because there's four of us and 20 of them. We could do it, right? Yeah, we could do it. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. Let's 
just take a look here and see what we're flying into. Yeah, I see them. They're all right off here somewhere. Oh, I don't have my mouse pointer. Never mind. Anyways, if you go right to the right edge of the screen, you'll see Ramblers engaged, getting their asses handed to them. There are tons of MiGs. So, uh, that's not, that's not good for us. But we, we do have Crusher right there on our side. That is Crusher's plane. We will be kicking their ass with him, hopefully. And I will probably be, uh, shooting two Sidewinder missiles and then running for my life as per standard operating procedure. And I will be answering emails as to why does the UN continue to hire us. Emails in 1968, yes, that's how with it I am. I will be answering letters <laughs> from the UN asking why they continue to hire the Green Mercenaries. Okay, well, that would be a beagle, so I kind of want to send... Let's uh, get uh, Flight 1 on that. And then I might jump in as well, just because... That's what I didn't want to happen. The bombs. <laughs> the bombs happened. It's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, here we go. And missile away. And it went straight into the ground. Figures. Come on, track them. Oh, no! Who got hit? I sent one off the rail at that exact moment, too, but the tail gun got him. Ah. Uh, okay, here we go. That got him. Screw you for killing one of my mercs, you dick! Okay, watch out, guys. Oh, somebody's shooting at somebody. Oh, that's a MiG right on someone's tail. Good lord. Get off my friend's tail. You asshole. Shit. Uh oh. I think I might have lost too much speed. Might kiss the ground here. Oh my god. Okay, a lot's happening on my mind, so sorry my commentary just kind of went south. I think oh, I, I had a bit of a radar lock on that guy. Okay, um, wingman, cover me. Oh, great. Crusher died. That's who got shot down by the, uh, the bomber. He got too close to the tail guns. Zipped in and just got destroyed. Okay, but we completed the mission, so that's good. Hopefully, Taggart, uh, ejected. But I think we're over enemy territory, so best case scenario, he'll probably be... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Dodge the missile. I don't know if that's uh I don't know if that's one of my guys or not. Flight one, attack my target. Get out of here. Flight one. Break. Do I really have a bandit right behind me? This would be bad luck. I don't want to die just yet. I need to be an ace. I need to come back and confirm that bomber, so I'm an ace. Yes, I do have a MiG-21 behind me, no less. Okay, let's pull some heavy Gs. Flip around on that guy. Because I think he's also after one of my wingmen. Oh, no. Did he launch a missile? Yes, he did. No, I think that's just smoke trails from their engines. Like I said, these old fighters from the 60s and stuff were uh, kind of... Uh, I don't know, they were a little bit polluting, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. They, they're not environmentally friendly. I believe that is a bandit behind me as well. It is. I got another one on my tail. How does that work? Flight 1. Attack my target, please. I need some help over here. And my ace uh, is now dead, so I have no help whatsoever. Is that Nick still turning on me? Let's reverse the turn. Got a radar lock on somebody, I think. That is a bomber for some reason. How did a bomber get over here? Is he after me too? Bomber's gonna try to get a fighter kill on me. Actually, he very well could. I'm close enough for his tail guns right now. 
don't like this. Yeah, I see he's shooting at me. Yikes. Let's dive down, almost red ourselves out. And then we'll just pull up real quick. Sit real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Eject. There I go. Well, my wing got clipped. So that was no good, but we completed the mission. Now, if I'm not taken as a POW, worst case scenario, or I died ejecting so close to the ground, um, I come back with just a plane missing. So I don't know. That's no good. So let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, dump out of this mission real quick and see what happened exactly. So I'll be back with the results screen, I hope. <laughs> it's a miracle. I somehow survived. Anytime I've ever ejected in such a situation, I've always died. Or been captured. Somehow or another, I did not. But, uh, let's see. The Green Scorpion Mercenary Squadron was to provide combat air patrol over Al Samir. We were to destroy enemy, any enemy aircraft approaching our assigned area. We killed two primary targets, but we lost three Mirage 3s. That was very expensive. We gained $20,000 in so doing by earning $11,000 for this mission, and we also uh, repulsed the enemy offensive into Al Samir. But let's take a look and see what happened. Um, Crusher survived. He ejected just as I did. And so who else died then? I guess everybody else ejected that got taken down. So those, those bombers, tail gunners, man, they're like snipers. They're just... They're awful. Watch the six of the bomber. The the beagle's bite, man. The beagle's bite. <laughs> it's certainly, certainly just terrible. So, anyways, this will change because I'm going to exit back to the main screen. Um, so thank you guys very much for joining me for a very quick episode of Strike Fighters 2 blood money mercenary mode or something like that. I got my title totally messed up just then, but I, I think you guys can forgive me. Um, except for the fact that I lost another Mirage 3. It's a very nice plane for the time period, and uh, not cheap um, in comparison to like the F4 Phantoms and stuff it is. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, if you would like to uh, subscribe, that'll give you a notification to whenever I've got more of this or other projects that I'm working on uploaded and if you'd like to leave a like that would help out um, if you'd like to dislike how many times I've said like uh, there is a button for that as well so um, I don't know I didn't plan this out very well suddenly my outro totally failed usually I have it down scripted pretty well but I've been recording a lot of bulk episodes today not of Strike Fighters 2 unfortunately but uh, thank you guys, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Till then, I'll practice on outros.